Hey guys, in this video I'm going to cover how to jailbreak the iPhone 4 on 6.0 and 6.0.1. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the latest version of Red Snow downloaded and also the 6.0 IPSW. Regardless if you're on 6.0 or 6.0.1, you want to have this file downloaded. So once you have those downloaded, you can open up the Red Snow folder and you're going to want to right click the Red Snow EXE and then click run as administrator. So now that you have Red Snow open you can go ahead and click the extras button and then click select IPSW and then you're gonna browse to the desktop where you save that IPSW file select that and go ahead and click open. You can click OK on this message and then you can go ahead and click back to the main page of Red Snow. So once you're back on the main page of Red Snow, you're going to want to put the phone into DFU mode. To do this, you make sure the phone is turned on and plugged in. You can go ahead and hold the power and home button. Continue to hold those until the screen goes black. Once the screen goes black, hold the power button and home button for three more seconds and release the power key, and then continue to hold the home button. You can check to see if the device is reading by opening up the device manager and then going to the bottom and expanding the universal serial bus controllers. And then at the top you should see the Apple mobile device. Once you've confirmed that the PC is reading the phone, you can go back to Red Snow and go ahead and click the jailbreak button. Once you get to this screen, go ahead and make sure you check the install Cydia box and then click next. Once the jailbreak is complete, you should see this message, and you'll also see the pineapple logo again on the phone. This message basically just states that the jailbreak we just performed is tethered, so every time the phone turns off, you need to use Red Snow and use the Just Boot function for all of the features to work properly, like Cydia and Safari. So to do the Just Boot, feature I recommend closing out Red Snow and then opening it again as administrator. So once you have Red Snow open as administrator you can go ahead and click extras and select IPSW and browse to the desktop again and choose that same file we did earlier. Now that we have that IPSW selected we need to put the phone into DFU mode the same way we did earlier. Plug it in and hold the power and home key. Once you have it in DFU mode, you can go ahead and click Just Boot, and then go ahead and check the Auto Boot this device when it connects in DFU mode. Once the boot has completed, you can verify that the jailbreak was successful by checking the springboard on the iPhone. If the Cydia icon is brown and has the logo, that means that the jailbreak was good. So once you guys have those phones jailbroken, you can go ahead and make a tech request and we will be able to flash them. Thanks guys.